Hello and welcome to Scardia.com. My name is Dr. Heather. Today I'm going to talk about another very important topic that is acute vomiting. This is part one of acute vomiting. We'll talk about the general approaches in patients with acute vomiting. Let's go on to the timeline. First, we'll talk about the initial assessment and how to approach a patient with acute vomiting. What to look for, what are the vital signs we should be taking care of, what are the life-threatening problems that we need to identify first, even if we don't know the history or we don't get to the diagnosis, what should be done to those, how to treat those life-threatening problems uh, will be discussed in detail about, uh, in this, uh, under this section. We'll talk about the focal or, uh, or sweat abdominal pains or peritoneal inflammations or signs of CNS that, is, that can cause vomiting and how to approach them. Moving on to, again, approach in a patient with acute MI, uh, uh, approach in a patient with trauma, approach in a patient with endocrine emergencies, and approach in a patient with a toxic appearance or patients with abnormal vital signs, how to look for, what to look for, and what to do, whom should we get admitted, whom should we treat in hospital, and whom should we send home, what is per oral trial challenge, and what other things we need to look for in approaching a patient with vomiting will be discussed in detail under this section. Moving on to history, we'll ask, we'll, I will teach you about a couple of questions uh, that you need to ask in a history that might help you to identify or to narrow down uh, your diagnosis or differential diagnosis. And first of them would include the life-threatening problems, life-threatening injuries that can cause patients' uh, death will be discussed in detail, uh, the questions you need to ask to identify the life-threatening problems and later that should be treated as soon as possible. Then we'll talk about in detail the physical examination from general appearance to the vital signs and organ uh, and system involved uh, that might cause uh, the vomiting, which includes pulmonary, neurological, abdominal examination, genital, extremity examination and skin. But general, uh, starting off with general appearance and vital signs. What are the significance and what things as a physician you need to look for, look for while doing this physical examination. Moving on to associated symptoms which includes gastrointestinal symptoms, neurological symptoms, we'll talk about in detail about the neurological symptoms that might have a, a presentation with vomiting. Patients uh, will talk about in detail about the lab investigations, lab laboratory studies, and what are the significance of initial tests that we, are, we will study, why we need those tests in emergency department. What are the significance of simple blood tests to cardiac profile that is really, really important, and why do we need all these tests in emergency department? What is the significance will be taught in detail. Uh, the significance is ECG, uh, what time it should be done and what to look for in, uh, in ECG when you receive a patient, especially in a patient with uh, chest pain and vomiting. Moving on to some radiological studies, which includes X-ray, what to look for in X-ray, uh, uh, ultrasound, uh, what, is the treatment, uh, what are the diagnostic modalities of ultrasound, when, it, when is ultrasound used, then we'll proceed for CT scan, we'll talk about CT brain, we'll talk about um, Nucleide scan, if required. We'll talk about an X-ray KUB. X-ray for erect abdomen will be discussed in detail under this section. Uh, significance of nasogastric tube, especially in patients with upper GI bleed, to uh, clear the field for endoscopist, and also to decompress the abdominal contents, there, which, is distend which are distended due to constipation. With Scardia.com, you can enjoy thousands of lectures anywhere at any time. This includes basic sciences, clinical sciences, and emergency medicine lectures. Start your free trial today. Thank you for watching Scardia.com.